You may have heard of the band Leonard Skinner, but you may not know the legendary band was the driving force behind a local prison outreach group. Today, that group got a special treat. Tammy Van Zandt, daughter of the band's former frontman Ronnie Van Zandt, was in Evansville to help spread the group's message of love and redemption. Here's Barry Fox and Joanne McGar have spent the last several years bringing their ministry to jails and prisons as part of the Free Birds Last Flight program. The inspiration came from the stories behind the tragic 1977 plane. Crash that killed six members of the legendary rock band Leonard Skinner, including lead singer Ronnie Van Zant. Many of the surviving members saw this experience as a chance to turn their lives around and abandon drugs and alcohol for a more Christian life. One of those members was backup singer JoJo Billingsley, who spoke to Fox 7 in 2008 about the crash that killed her former bandmates. I was the only one that went on the plane when it crashed uh, because the Lord gave me a dream two nights before. Uh, the plane crashed that it was going to crash. JoJo eventually gave up the life of rock and roll and brought her talents to the church. Ronnie Van Zandt's eldest daughter, Tammy, would soon join JoJo on her new mission. But sadly, JoJo died last June. Tammy says God spoke to her and told her she needed to spread the message of God and the message of love. JoJo and Tammy had planned to go to prisons together and tell their stories firsthand. JoJo and I were going to go together and do that, and we didn't get a chance, and uh, I felt like she was speaking to me too, get more involved. With JoJo gone, Tammy continued on her mission, and that's when she reached out to Barry and Joanne. See, oh, my dad would feel so blessed that they're doing this. The couple had been in touch with Tammy's aunt about their program, who gave them the blessing of the Van Zant family. This weekend, Tammy finally got a chance to share in the program by speaking to inmates at a Kentucky Correctional Institute for Women on Saturday and two nearly full crowds at Bethel Temple on Sunday. For Tammy, it's not only a way to spread the word of God, but it's a chance to keep her father's memory alive. It's a blessing to hear um, from these fans all the stories that they know that I don't know. When I get stories that they knew him personally and they share that with me, it helps give me more of my father. Tammy has also released an album called Free Bird Child and plans to continue making gospel music and hopes to go to churches and prisons all over the country to spread her message. All I ever wanted to do was give love. Love, love, love. In Evansville, Drew Gardner, Fox 7 News. And for more information about the Freebirds Last Flight Outreach Program, just head to our website, tricitihomepage.com.